Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. We're going to get into some NFL action for um, Week 17. And there's a lot of interesting games going on that are going to help determine playoff seedings. Before we do, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to this VIP club section, which you see all these tabs here with tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's get into some of these games. Now, I'm not going to look at all of them. We're going to look at five of the matchups that I feel are going to be the most important ones for this week. So you can see here, the first one is Miami and Baltimore. This is going to be the game of the day. Both teams are battling for the number one spot in the AFC. In fact, Baltimore can clinch the number one spot with a win, and Miami can get into a tie with Baltimore, which means they would overtake them through head-to-head -head wins um, for the top spot right now. So it's a very important game. Uh, both teams come in burning hot. You can see Baltimore 5-1 and one over their last six, and so is Miami. They are on a two-game winning streak, and Baltimore has won their last five. As far as the over-under goes, you can see the teams have been trending a little bit on opposite sides of the line lately. As far as the odds for this game, Miami is an underdog on the road by 3.5 points. You can see the odds in favor of Baltimore, minus 161 to plus 136, and the over-under set at 47.5. You see the score prediction here is 35-20 in favor of Baltimore. Confidence in the prediction is pretty high at 79%. If you take a look at the... Uh, Hot trends here. Baltimore has won 80% in favor of status in the last five games. And so you can see that's a very important stat. And there is a 67% winning rate predicting last six Baltimore Ravens games. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see here that Baltimore is actually higher than Miami at the moment, which isn't really a surprise because Baltimore has a better record, but it's 31 to 28 in that category. The stability factor, how consistent are the two teams? Both of them are pretty stable, pretty uh, consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. So you can see that's a very important stat as well. In the end here, I think I'm going to go with Baltimore, but let's take a look at the money line real quick before I make the final say on that. You can see here it opened with uh, 1.641 for Baltimore. You can see there's been some movement sharp movements in two different directions and it's pretty much back to where it started it's at 1.621 again i'm going to go with baltimore in this one i think they will win i think it's going to be um a high scoring game i think they're going to win in cover i think it's going to go over the line new england and buffalo a few years ago that might have been a good game not this year um norris and tampa bay here we go in the nfc south both teams still with a shot at the playoffs. Um, it's a tight division. Both teams have a shot at the division, but New Orleans needs a win for that to happen. Tampa Bay is a home favorite by two and a half points with odds of minus 139 to plus 113. Over under is at 42.5. You can see the burning hot status with four straight wins for Tampa Bay, and they have been involved in games over the line in each of the last six. And New Orleans is ice cold down two and four over the last six, and they have been uh, even three up and three down as far as the over under goes in the last six the score prediction has tampa bay in a blowout by 15 points confidence in the prediction is 71 percent um if you take a look at this tampa bay has won 80 percent in the fair of status in the last five games that might be an important trend to note head to head wise it was earlier this season with tampa bay all over new orleans on the road 26 to 9. i really don't see much difference this time around I like Tampa Bay to win and cover, but I think this time I'm going to pass on the over-under bet because the team's trending on opposite sides of the line. The next matchup we want to take a look at is, go down through here, not the Rams and the Giants. Uh, there we go, Tennessee and Houston. Houston comes in, average down. Tennessee is ice cold down. Neither team playing very well lately. Three and three for Houston over their last six. Tennessee two and four over their last six. But Houston is a substantial favorite by five and a half points at home. The odds are minus 244 to plus 197. The over under is sitting at 43.5. We see here that game winner pick is four and a half stars for Houston. And but and note that four and four and a half star home favorites in average down status are one and oh in the last 30 days. Take that with a great assault. Um Houston is given a 70 
percent chance, well, not 70 percent chance, where the confidence the prediction is 70, almost 71 percent for Houston to win 36 to 14. That would be a blowout win, which would be over the line. Um, take a look at the power ranks indicator. Houston is at plus 19, and you can see the downward trend for Tennessee. They are at plus four at the moment. Let's take a look at the money line. If you take a look at the money line, this is Houston's money line opened at 1.45. You can see right here there was a sharp move detected against Houston at that point. You can see that changed, and now that it's been going back up. So basically, it's not that much different from where it started. The line's now at 1.41, and it started at 1.45. So in the end, that's not going to change anything as far as my prediction. I like the Texans to repeat another win but i think the tennessee is going to play a lot better ball this time around i think they can cover it but they will not win and i'm going to pass on the over under bet once again here's pittsburgh and seattle another important game with both teams coming in at eight and seven both teams with still playoff chances you can see that the uh, over under set at 40.5 seattle is a three and a half point favorite with odds of minus 161 to plus 136 neither team has played very well lately i mean tennessee Tennessee. Seattle has won their last two, but they're only two and four over their last six. And Pittsburgh is two and four over their last six. If you notice the over under, they've been trending on opposite sides of the line. The last two games for Seattle have been under, whereas the last three games for Pittsburgh have been over. Take a look here at the power ranks. You can see the upward trend for Seattle. They now surpassed Pittsburgh in that category where Pittsburgh was higher, but now Seattle's at plus 20 compared to plus 15. The consistency factor, look at Pittsburgh, very, very inconsistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. They are at minus five, while Seattle has been very consistent on that upward trend. They are now at plus eight. I really don't see much in the way of Pittsburgh coming away with a win here. I like Seattle easily, I'd say by at least 10 points, and I'm going to uh, pick this game to go over the line. The last game we want to look at is Cincinnati and Kansas City. Now, the Chiefs have not been playing well. Two and four over their last six. For them, nine and six on the season is not very good for them compared to where they were. So the defending Super Bowl champions are not playing well. But beside, despite that, though, they are a pretty big home favorite of six and a half points. The odds are minus 333 to plus 267. The over-under is sitting at 44.5. The score prediction of 50 total points with Kansas City winning by six would be put this over the line, but be careful because the confidence in the prediction is only 51%. Okay, if we look at this power ranks indicator, you can see Cincinnati is at plus 23, and the downward trend for Kansas City puts them at plus 18. Okay, so let's see what else we can look at here. Let's take a look at if there's been any movement in the money line, and we can see here the money line opened up with Kansas City at... at uh, Let's see what it opened at. Well, it's not, much, it's not really showing where it opened. I don't, I don't know why, but it's not really showing here where it opened. Uh, let's see if I scroll down a bit. That will help. Ah, there we go. It opened at 1.549. You can see there's been some movement uh, more in favor of uh, Kansas City as the week went along. But now it dropped down, and it's pretty much stable as to where it opened up at. So anyway, either way, it is a Kansas City line. I like the Chiefs to win. I like the Chiefs to cover um, in a game going over the line. And that's it for the games that we are going to look at for this week. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.